Throughout this edition of Business at its Best, we've been showing you how scam artists have their sights set on you. We finish up today with Adrian Gunn. He was living the life. He had a business in Twin Falls, home on the golf course in Boise, condos in Florida and Portland. And he was definitely living the life until federal agents caught up with him. Adrian talked to us from behind bars about how he carried out the crime, the people he was looking for as looking to as victims, and then how to protect yourself. Here's Adrian's story. Uh, the information that was given to me by one of my partners belonged to a, um, a gentleman who was um, mentally handicapped. And children, kids, uh, social security numbers are obviously vulnerable. That's something that I ever did. ATMs, this, the whole skimming thing is, is big business now. Um, but senior citizens seem to be, um, you know, a huge target. In this underground world, again, uh, phishing is a, uh, and skimming are, you know, they're, it's rampant. It's, it's everywhere. Uh, once I, you know, get a social security number, I can, I can do my own, bet, uh, my own um, credit check. Uh, from there, it's just a, it's a matter of uh, a little detective work. So once you do a credit check on someone, you get a pretty good idea of who they are. Um, and then, uh, you know, there's all sorts of information on the internet now. Um, you know, I, again, I don't have to leave my home to find out who you are and what you're about. Once I've got your information and I am begin to open these accounts, I can thwart through the security systems of the banks, the credit card companies, simply by fishing for information from them when I call. If my card doesn't work for a particular reason, they cut me off because their fraud department put a red flag on it, and I call in. You know, I learned early on that the simplest way to get past the fraud department is to call. Because the fraud department doesn't think that the criminal is actually going to call in. You know, and so all you have to do is call in. Say you're this person, you're upset. You've been upset when your card doesn't work for some reason. So now I'm upset because my card doesn't work and I don't know why. Here I am, little Mr. Innocent, trying to use my card at the grocery store, at the furniture store, and it doesn't work. Um, they'll ask you some security questions and if you don't know the answer, a lot of times you can get the answer from them. Don't give out your information, period. Uh, you know, that's the safest thing to say. Uh, if it's not your family, uh, if it's not someone you're, you're inherently close to, don't give out your information. Um, don't give it out over the phone, obviously. Don't give information out over the computer. Lock up your information, your personal information at home um, in a safe place. It's a different world. You know, the last five, six years with technology, um, it's scary. It's just a different world. We have to protect ourselves. You know, if someone wants your information bad enough, they can get it, but don't help them out. Don't help them. Uh, make sure you get rid of all of your, you know, you shred your documents, you go through the process. You know, we've, we've heard it all lately. Um, you know, make sure your trash isn't out in the open. Um, yeah, and, and a lot of times, like I said, when you're at home, make sure it's locked up in a safe place. Um, just like I got started, it was someone I knew uh, when I first did this. It was someone I knew. Excellent advice right there from behind prison bars. Before we leave.